Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? by Patrice McLaurin, illustrated by Diane Wang. This world is full of inventions, some of them we don't even think about. But if we took the time to think about them, we'd realize we wouldn't want to live without them. You see, inventions, they make our lives much easier, and they also make our lives more fun. So we should thank the inventors who invent great inventions, for without them, we might not get anything done. Like for instance, when your mom wakes you up in the morning to let you know that it's time to go to school, you stretch and yawn, rub the corners of your eyes, and probably wipe away last night's drool. That's when you happen to glance over at your clock and realize that you're running a bit late. Well, you wouldn't know that were it not for Benjamin Banneker, he invented the first clock in the United States. So you put on clothes and you rush into the bathroom you wash your face and brush your teeth, then brush your hair. Well, you should thank Lita Newman for part of your morning grooming, as the modern day hairbrush was her awesome idea. Afterwards, you're called into the kitchen for breakfast. This morning, it's cereal with fruits and wheat toast. Well, thank goodness John's standard improved the refrigerator because hot milk with your cereal is pretty gross. And when you're on your way to school, whether you're a bus rider, a car rider, or you walk, you have to thank Garrett Morgan for the traffic light. Otherwise, none of our streets would be safe to cross. Then after you've settled into your classroom and you've taken out your supplies because you're such a scholar, please remember to show love to Mr. John Love for his invention was none other than the pencil sharpener. Now as much as I know that you love to learn, you'll admit that sometimes lunch is your favorite time of day. Well, you can thank John Robinson for your lunchbox but for what's inside it, it's your mom that you need to thank. And what does mom usually pack in your lunchbox? Tasty snacks that make your belly go yum, like peanut butter invented by George Washington Carver or potato chips invented by George Crumb. Fast forward, the school day is now over. It's been a long one, and you're happy to be home. You check the mailbox invented by P. Downing, then chill in front of the air conditioner invented by Frederick Jones. Plus, your teacher didn't assign any homework, so you decide to play a few games on the cell phone. Well, if it wasn't for Henry Sampson's gamma electric cell, believe it or not, there would be no cell phone. And these are just a few awesome inventions. There are countless others, other ones that I didn't even mention, like the doorknob invented by O'Dorsey or the guitar invented by Robert Fleming. Sarah Boone invented the ironing board and Thomas Stewart invented the mop. Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker and W.A. Martin, he invented the lock. So now, here's what I want you to do. I'd like for you to take a moment or two and ponder over how life would be if these inventions weren't created for you. Then as you lie in your bed this evening and you think about how your day was spent, don't forget to thank an inventor. Then dream about what you'd like to invent. biographies. Benjamin Banneker was a mathematician, astronomer, and writer. 
He invented America's first clock in the early 1750s, and he helped to design the city of Washington, D.C. Thank you, Benjamin Banneker. Frederick McKinley Jones was a mechanical and electrical engineer. He invented a portable air cooling unit in the 1930s. Thank you, Frederick Jones. Garrett Morgan was a repairman and business owner. He invented the three-light traffic signal in 1923. He also invented an improved sewing machine and the gas mask. Thank you, Garrett Morgan. George Washington Carver was a teacher at the Tuskegee Institute. He invented over 100 products with the peanuts, including peanut butter and gasoline. Thank you, George Washington Carver. George Crumb was a cook and a restaurant owner. He invented the potato chip in 1853. Thank you, George Crumb. Henry Thomas Sampson Jr. is an inventor and a nuclear engineer. He invented the gamma electric cell, which is the cell used in powering cell phones in 1971. Thank you, Henry Thomas Sampson Jr. John Lee Love was an inventor. He invented the portable pencil sharpener in 1883. This pencil sharpener was also known as the Love Sharpener. Thank you, John Love. John Robinson was an inventor. He invented the lunchbox in the 1890s. Thank you, John Robinson. John Standard was an inventor. He invented an improved model of the refrigerator in 1891. He also invented an improved oil stove. Thank you, John Standard. Lonnie G. Johnson is a nuclear engineer. He invented the super soaker water gun in 1982. He also worked on space missions to Jupiter and Saturn. Thank you, Lonnie G. Johnson. Lita Newman was a hairdresser and a women's rights activist. She invented an improved model of the hairbrush in 1898. She also fought for women's right to vote. Thank you, Lita Newman. Osborne Dorsey was an inventor. He invented the doorknob in 1878. He also invented the doorstop. Thank you, O. Dorsey. P.B. Downing was an inventor. He invented the street letter mailbox in 1891. He also invented an electrical switch for railroads. Thank you, Philip, P. Philip B. Downing. Robert Fleming Jr. was an inventor. He is best known for inventing the guitar in 1886. Thank you, Robert Fleming Jr. Sarah Boone was an inventor. She invented the ironing board in 1892. Thank you, Sarah Boone. Thomas Stewart was an inventor. He invented an improved version of the mop in 1893. He also invented a metal bonding machine. Thank you, Thomas Stewart. W.A. Martin was an inventor. He invented an improved version of the lock in 1889. Thank you, W.A. Martin.